I you to get interactive, very much so, and we've been getting a lot of uh, messages on our social media uh, platforms as well as on WhatsApp, and uh, this one also sent through, it says, uh, today is uh, the birthday of, of my daughter, 20 years, and I, I decided to do this. Sedinang Beku, you say, student of the University of Ghana, and this one is coming from Alexandra, who lives in Lashibi. Good morning to you. Um, Alexandra has been a while as well, but we have to talk about the related issues of energy energy and its usage. You know that the Minister for Energy, John Peter Amo, at that interaction uh, just on Thursday announced what the whole uh, package is. Uh, One billion Ghana cities in excess that government is going to incur as a result of uh, absorbing the cost of electricity for consumers and for those who are the lower end, uh, zero percent it is, and uh, those up there, 50 percent uh, upwards. But we need some better clarification on this subject. And what a way for us to just stream into the studio. Nana Damwa, who is a communication consultant or speaks for the Ministry for Energy. Good morning to you. Nana, how are you? Good morning, brother. I'm very well. But I, I'm not a consultant. I'm head of communications and public affairs at the ministry. Just a small correction. So. Okay. Head of communications and public affairs, the Ministry yes, of Energy. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. So uh, as it goes, um, the the whole package or government uh, based on its financials is uh, going to absorb uh, the cost being one billion Ghana cities. That's the case, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So what does it mean to the categories of the consumers? All right. So um, if you pay attention to the announcement of the president. Um, the categorizations were done in two major forms. The first one was that lifeline customers or lifeline consumers were supposed to enjoy 100% um, rebate, whilst um, non-lifeline customers were to take 50% of using their March bill as a benchmark. So um, to explain, lifeline customers are those that consume between zero and 50 kilowatt hours a month. Now, in financial terms, that translates to just about 19.26 Ghana cities. The impact of this is such that if you look at ECG operational areas, 27.6% of the customers of ECG are on Lifeline. If you look at NEPCO, about 60% of NEPCO customers are on Lifeline. In terms of meters, we have over a little over 1.8 million meters that are on Lifeline. So that tells you the wide reaching impact of this particular uh, intervention. What is great about this is that they enjoy electricity totally free of charge, 100%. Now for non-Lifeline customers, you may want to pay attention to how the metering is done. And I, with this, I refer to the prepaid mechanism and then the postpaid mechanism as well. Postpaid mechanism is such that you consume for a month. And after that, the, meters, the meter readers come to read the meter, and then we prepare a bill for you. So for postpaid customers, what they would realize is that their April consumption, which they are now enjoying, they will get a bill for it in May. And when the May bill comes, you would realize that after your consumption is tabulated for you, we will have taken your March consumption as a benchmark, divided it into 50%, and given you that credit as a rebate, as the president has instructed. So just to make it more practical, if you consume 300 CDs in the month of March, and then at the end of April, we realize that you consume 300 CDs, we'll charge you with the 300 CDs, and then indicates to you that the 50% that the president has instructed to be given to you is being subtracted. So you'll be billed for just 150 Ghana CDs. This is for postpaid customers. For prepaid customers, we have two major mechanisms or two major types of meters there also. We have the smart meters and the non-smart meters. For the smart meters, um, usually what happens is that you go to make a deposit and then it is automatically put onto your phone through a broadcast mechanism. It has a SIM uh, card embedded and put into it and so it's able to communicate to the control center. You do not necessarily need any card to go and go and buy and come and put it on. So for those, your credit, which is 50% of your March consumption, will be broadcast onto your meter by itself, starting from the 1st of May. But for those that use the non-smart meters, where you have to pick your card, go to a vending point, 
and then procure whatever amount you want to buy. When you get there, you'll be told that you have credit outstanding, which will amount to 50% of your March consumption. If at that point you want to purchase more or you just want to take that and go away, that is how you would also get to enjoy it. So in brief, this is the summary of how it's going to be implemented. Okay, so uh, in brief, all that you've said is that for those who are prepaid, they are going to have their uh, prorated or um, after the period of consumption, after a month, right? That is for postpaid. That's for postpaid. Yes, the reason we are delaying implementation, also, not necessarily delaying implementation, but the reason why the benefits will be felt from March for prepaid customers is two major reasons. One, as you are already aware, um, the tariff mechanism in Ghana is graduated. It's a step process. So we charge less for the 0 to 50 kilowatt hour band and then a little bit more for the, one, for the 51 to the 200 band and then a little bit more as well for those going up, upwards. Therefore, the more you use, the more you pay. Now, the announcement came on the 9th of April. If we were to implement it immediately, we would have robbed people of some of the additional benefits that they could have gotten if we started um, implementing it from the 1st of May. So the benefits that you are supposed to get for April, which you are consuming now, will be given to you starting from the 1st of May. That for of May will be given to you in June, and that of June will be given to you in July. This is just to enable you, you know, get the maximum benefits from the intervention that the president has made. Again, for postpaid customers. For postpaid customers, you are already going to get your April bill in May. And when the bill comes, you will see a calculation of how much you consumed and what you were due and the credit that has been given you. Okay. So it means that within the period of postpaid customers' consumption, they would have been enjoying this. Only that they'll get to know when the bill comes the next month. That'll be immediate. Exactly. And, and that is a, how it has always operated for postpaid customers. You consume in the month, and then you get your bill towards the middle of the following month. So as for postpaid customers, they are already enjoying it. They would see how much they enjoyed at the end of the month when the bill comes. Now, for prepaid... Um, we do know that there are people who may have bought in bulk. Yes. And what applies to them? So for all those who buy, bought in bulk, what happens, let's say multi-month multi buy, so assuming that somebody has paid about 6,000 CDs worth of electricity probably for the whole year or whatever, what will happen is that the meter automatically resets itself on the first day of every month. So your consumption, as you are consuming, you consume to the point, and then on the last day of the month, the meter resets itself. To be able to read that for the month of April, let's say you consumed 1,000 CDs worth of electricity. Now, once we know this, the credit that you are due will be given to you upon your next purchase. So I have heard this uh, because sometimes some of us buy in bulk. And then I have friends who either maybe because they work in the sector advise that because I buy in bulk, the, I am categorized as being a high-end user. That I'm, I'm sure um, just above the, the normal, uh, I don't know whether it's, I'm not sure I consume 50 kilowatts. I'm not sure I've been able to do that. But, but at the end of the day, way above that. Okay, so I've, I've, I've been categorized as going above that just because I buy in bulk. Even yeah. though the consumption may be in bits, because you want yeah. to buy for the long time, either two months or three months. Yeah. Now, uh, how do you deal with such people? Unfortunately, it will be very difficult for us to deal with it. However, you can be sure that you receive the benefit of the directive of the president as it was meant. But what you are asking me is the bigger systemic problem as to your purchasing in bulk. That really, at this moment, I, I don't think that there's much I can do about it. Unless you are going to change or you're willing to change your, your, your purchasing habits, there's very little that I can advise. Perhaps the ECT, I'll, 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 I'll consult with ECT and then let's see how we can best help you. However, uh, it's worth saying that you will receive your benefits from the directives that the president has given. That is uncontested. 
you and I, if we're not familiar, if you are not familiar, please, uh, perhaps maybe I am, but I'm sure you are too. There are many people in communities uh, that uh, have residents who are low income, but because they live in compound houses, compound houses yeah. yes, they have uh, one meter, uh, and so they, 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 they consume in bulk. Yes. What do we do to them? Um, I'll be honest with you. We look at the consumption from the point of view of the meter and not the individuals. The meter serves to read the consumption. So we are very constrained, extremely constrained in being able to do anything about it. In fact, there's nothing we can do about it. The only thing that we can do is urge them to enter into some form of discussions and conversations with ECG over the term to try and see if they can get more meters. If they can, then, then moving forward, I think that it will be even easier for their own um, spending if, 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 if they can procure them. However, as it stands presently, we cannot go any further uh, than what we have done. Mm. But that, that's a difficulty because the large sections of ideally the targeted beneficiaries who would have been uh, under 50 uh, KW users but apparently um, fall in this, right? Um, we know that there are situations of that sort. As to whether it forms the majority or forms the minority, it, it's an issue that we can look at. But we are aware that there will be situations like that. Unfortunately, um, there is no other alternative in the current system. So unless uh, we are going to start deploying meters, you know, um, within the shortest possible time, and due to COVID-19 and the restrictions that we have on movement as well, that is practically impossible to do. Okay, but this is a conversation for the lower end. Now, as we begin to wrap up. Uh, there was some announcement for uh, s uh, sectorial consumers. So we have extractive, there was Valco mentioned, et cetera. Can you take us through the specifics so that we'll get to know? Um, it, it's just that those customers are what we term, um, they buy directly from the area. Let, let me just put it that way. Right. So right. they would also enjoy the 50% of their mass consumption. Okay. As, as, as relief to them, that's all. Okay. Uh, how, how much are we spending uh, on all this? 344 million gamma speed a month. Times three? Yes, there. Uh, oh, and how are we paying that? The money has been secured uh, by the Ministry of Finance. It's been ring fenced and it's sitting down to be released monthly as and when it is due. Mm. If we know that, or we look at the backlog that we already have, and that's, that has generated a lot of uh, concern within players in the industry, um, how do we do the mix? I agree with you, but the backlog has already, has already been dealt with. Uh, we developed the energy sector recovery program, which has been implemented. We've also started the cash waterfall mechanism, which kicked in on the 1st of April. So this in no way goes to affect the already existing situation in the power subsector at all. The money for this, we've been given the highest of assurances, has been found by the Ministry of Finance. Um, it's been ranked first, and it's lying there. It will be released when it becomes due. Nana Damwa, thank you. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Senior. All right, sir. Okay, so Nana Damwa is uh, the Communications and Corporate Affairs uh, direct our head for the Ministry of Energy. And, uh, well, if you know that you live in that compound house, you use one meter, you, know, you don't fall in this category. Unless within the next few days you can have new meters installed for members of that household. That's a pretty steep one. But uh, if you have any comments at all, we'll try as much as possible. If uh, programming allows us, by way of the content we're generating, we'll open the phone lines towards the close of the show to see whether we can have your views on this uh, on this very subject